pet sitter Nella Marinoff is suing dog owner June Melanie Binkley for medical bills as the result of a dog bite. Ms. Marinon, you're in the business of pet sitting. Correct. How long have you been in the pet sitting business? Um, I started with Rover May of last year. And you take care of the dogs in your house? I do. How much do you get paid? $60 for boarding and $30 for day stay for daycare. And how many animals have you had in your care, would you say, since May of last year? 35. So you're a professional? Yes, ma'am. In your professional capacity, you were taking care of two of the defendant's dogs overnight Correct. on a trial basis for a longer stay. Correct. And you had known the defendant and the dogs before this from a dog park. Yes, from the dog park. And she brought you the dogs on what date? On um, November 28th. And she picked up the dogs on the 29th. On the 29th. And between the 28th and the 29th, there were no incidents with the dog. Not until the 29th. Not correct. Until the 29th. Yeah. And then on the 29th, one of her dogs bit you. Yes. So the defendant's response is that. It was really your fault because of some hand motion that you did that frightened the dog. Okay. She was, in fact, there. Something happened when the dog was being leashed. Is that right? Yes. The dog, she put the dog up on the jacuzzi. And I had mentioned to her we, we don't put the dogs on the jacuzzi at a higher level. And so I put the harness on to the dog. And, and she's standing facing me. I'm facing Bandit. No. Nope. And, and I, I don't want you to and when move I clip or say a word. When I put the harness on and I went, I heard the dog make a little noise, I went to release my hand. I was going to put the dog on the ground. She swooped in from behind, picked the dog up at the same time, and the dog bit me. And it was all in a matter of like that. Okay. Now, just because someone's dog bites you doesn't mean that they're responsible. I'm going to give you a couple of examples. If you bring a dog to a vet and you leave your dog at the vet to be treated and the dog bites a veterinary assistant, you think the owner is responsible? Uh, no. If you bring your dog to a groomer and you come back in an hour and you say, your dog bit me, you're responsible for my medical bills. You think you're responsible? Um, no, but I did vet Melanie and I did ask her if her dog had aggressions because I don't take dogs that are unsocial. I made that very clear to her and she, so told, just, she kept just, that so just, part from me. Just let's understand so that we're perfectly clear in our analysis of this case that just because a dog bites you does not mean the owner is legally responsible for that, especially if you are a professional and you've taken the dog in your professional capacity for money and the dog bites you or damages your furniture right, or anything. That doesn't mean the owner is responsible. It's just like you're babysitting and it's your responsibility to take care of the toddler and the toddler breaks a valuable vase. You think the mother is responsible or the father? They're not. It's your responsibility. You assume this responsibility and you're in charge of it. You do it for a for-profit basis and you're supposed to be smart enough not to put yourself in situations where that happens. You were actually handling the dog. You were handling the dog when the dog bit you. Mm -hmm. Now, if what you are claiming is that Miss Binkley knowingly and after you specifically asked her did not give you sufficient information on which to base a judgment as to whether to take this dog or to take this child or to take this toddler into right. your home, I will address that.